This is the tape that you've waited for and heard about. In this video, we'll show you 14 of the sexiest Southern California beauties in string bikinis and high heels firing the sexiest fully automatic machine guns in the world. So sit back and get ready to rock and roll. My name is Lillian, and this is a lot of fun. I'm shooting the MPK submachine gun. It's made in Germany. The MP stands for machine pistol. This gun fires the 9mm cartridge at a rate of 550 rounds per minute. That's close to 10 rounds per second. What surprises me is how easy this gun is to handle. I guess that's what makes it so much fun. The barrel on the MPK is six inches long, and I'm shooting it with a 30 round magazine. It weighs just six and a half pounds and has a clever folding wire stock. <laughs> Those Germans really know how to make a machine gun. When Letty McGill asked me to do this video, I must admit I was more than just a little bit hesitant. I mean, I'd never fired a gun before in my life. But let me tell you, once I got that machine gun in my hands, there was no stopping me. It's a blast, I loved it. me if I would do it again. You better believe it. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Bye. Hello, I'm Rosie and this is the MP5 machine gun. But once they tell me, this is one of the best automatic weapons available in the world today. And it, too, is made in Germany, like me. Hey, I wasn't oh. ready for that. Well, what do you expect? This is my first time ever firing a gun, much less a machine gun. Well, I'll get the hang of it. And just a bet, you'll see. I told you I'll get it down. Now that I've got my confidence back, let me tell you about this gun. It fires a 9mm round at a rate of 550 rounds per minute, with a bullet velocity of 1,250 feet per second. It weighs 6 pounds, 7 ounces, and has a retractable stock. Overall length is 24 inches. The civilian version is only available in the long barrel. MP5 
55 is a favorite of the SWAT and Special Forces around the world, and I can see why. It's very controllable and kind of sets in your hand, asking to be fired. I live in San Diego, California. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm a bodybuilder. I've been working out for about three years. I've won several contests in the lightweight division, including the San Diego Open, the West Coast Open, and the California Gold Cup Open. Working out with weights has made me a lot stronger. And I think it really helps me shoot this gun. You know, I never knew I would get paid to shoot a gun. But I admit it, I love it. Thank ya. See ya. Well, hello. How are you doing? My name is Angela, and like Rosie, I also got the opportunity to shoot the H&K MP5 submachine gun. I was raised in the South and grew up shooting guns, but let me tell you, this is incredible. One word can describe the MP5. Controllable. Watch these deliberate three-round bursts. And this is the first time I've ever fired this gun. The MP5 was designed in 1965. This gun is a current result of the continuous development of the German MP series of the submachine guns. There are only eight major parts in the MP5, and just by the feel of the gun in your hand, you can tell that this is a precision instrument. I've never held anything that felt so strong and confident. It feels like it would never fail and virtually works forever. I recently moved to Southern California to enjoy the sunshine and pursue modeling and acting. I also work a flexible nine to five at a big time insurance company. It's a good job and the pay is great, but from now on I'd rather be shooting machine guns in the desert anytime. See you on TV. Bye. I'm Denise from San Diego, California, and I'm going to show you how to shoot the AK-47 automatic rifle, the standard issue to the Soviet bloc armies, I might add. The 
AK-47 fires the Soviet Block 762 round, which is slightly different than the 762 NATO round. The Soviet round is 39 millimeters in height, while the NATO round is 51 millimeters. Millions of AK-47s have been made and distributed around the world. This gun weighs 9 pounds, 7 ounces, and fires 600 rounds per minute. The AK-47 is one of the most reliable machine guns ever produced. I'm really impressed by the way it handles. Producer Lenny McGill installed a DTA mill brake on the muzzle of this gun to help reduce recoil and keep the barrel from climbing all over the place. It makes it a lot easier to hang on to, which makes it a lot more fun, and looking back on the tapes, I guess I kind of do have a big smile on my face. There's something about having a gun in your hands and being able to control it. I don't know what it is, but all the girls talked about it. I'm currently a student at San Diego State, plus I've been modeling and doing television work for two years. This tape will be an interesting addition to my resume. In fact, it may help me get a job in a Hollywood movie shooting bad guys with a machine gun. Wish me luck and take care of yourself. and I'm shooting the Ingram M10, or the MAC-10. This gun is one of the most well-known machine guns in the world, not only because it has been featured in numerous Hollywood movies, but also because of its drug underworld popularity. The MAC-10 is the weapon of choice because of its concealability. As you can see, this gun is really fast. It fires a 9mm round at a rate of 1,200 rounds per minute. That's like 20 shots per second. Not only that, it weighs just six and a quarter pound and it's only 10 and a half inches long. All that combined made this gun a bit hard for me to handle.
watched the video, some of my friends asked if we were shooting blanks or real ammo. Let me tell you, all the girls filed live ammunition. In fact, you can see the dust coming back from where I hit the dirt right in front of me. The MAC-10 is an awesome gun. It almost looks like a toy until you squeeze the trigger. <laughs> then make sure you're holding on. I hope you get a chance to shoot a MAC-10 someday. Then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm Tanny Joe. Don't forget me. My name is Kathy and I'm shooting the AK-47 automatic rifle. This gun is equipped with a folding metal stock. As you know, the AK fires the Russian 308 round, and if you know anything about shooting the 308, it has quite a kick. I really didn't expect it to knock me back like that. The trick to shooting this gun is to bear down and put a lot of your weight on your front leg. I'm a bodybuilder and can bench 210 pounds, so once I got the hang of it, I could relax and really enjoy this gun. I grew up with a bunch of brothers, and I've been shooting all my life. So when I heard Lenny McGill was making this video, I made an appointment right away. Now all my brothers are jealous because I got to shoot a machine gun and because I got to shoot the Uzi full auto. My brothers got the semi-auto version, and we've always talked about automatic fire. The AK-47 was designed by Mikhail Kalishnikov and has been the standard issue of the Soviet bloc since 1951. Millions of these weapons have been sold, but you can believe that Mr. Kalishnikov nor his family ever got rich off his design. That's what holds the communist countries back. No real incentive to achieve personal greatness or go above the call of normal duty. I love America and I'm glad to live here. I do whatever it takes to preserve our freedom and I hope you would too. Hi, my name is Rhonda. I've been a shooter all my life and jumped at the chance to shoot machine guns. The sleek looking gun that I am firing is the H&K MP5. Shooting this gun is more fun than, well, let's just say it's a lot of fun. The producers told me that this gun is becoming very popular in several of the recent Hollywood movies. The MP5 was used in Beverly Hills Cop 2, and that hunk Mel Gibson used it in Lethal Weapon. With this gun, even I could stop most of the bad guys out there.
I love getting out into the country and getting away from the crowds of the city. The combination of the wide open desert and the powerful machine gun in my hands helps keep my mind off school for a while. I'm currently a senior majoring in business at the University of San Diego, and I model on the side to help pay for my college tuition. This has definitely been the most fun I've had modeling. Thanks for letting me tell you about the fun I had today, and I hope to be able to do it again. Bye-bye. My name is Julie, and this is the M16, the standard issue machine gun for the United States Armed Forces for over 25 years. It fires the 223 caliber bullet at over 3,200 feet per second. Now this is a real gun, not one of those wimpy submachine guns. The M16 had some problems in the first couple of years of Vietnam with jamming and fouling, but with proper cleaning, this gun will fire all day and not give you any problems. Since I am taller than most of the other girls, this gun fit me better than, say, an Uzi or a Mac-10. The 44 inches of power in this gun felt at home in my hands as if I had fired one all my life. I can just imagine stopping a group of terrorists in their tracks with this magnificent weapon just by a quick burst into the air to show that I mean business. Most of the other stockbrokers where I work were amazed that I was going to go out and fire a real machine gun with live ammo. Maybe if they weren't so timid and afraid of trying new things, they might learn a few new things about me and the world. I doubt it. They would rather sit at home and eat quiche. Not me. Anytime you want to go shooting, just give me a call. See you next time. I'm Kathy, and they told me I would be shooting a real gun. A gun that performed flawlessly in World War II. And a gun that some people think should be in service today. This is the M14 Selective Fire Infantry Rifle. It's a big gun, weighing eight and a half pounds, and it's about 44 inches long. To top that off, the M14 fires a 308 round, which makes it a bit hard to handle in the full auto mode. I can see why they call this a real gun. It knocks me back every time. Luckily, it has a DTA mill brake on the muzzle. The producers told me it really makes a difference effectively reducing recoil and muzzle climb. I only fired a gun once before in my lifetime, and that was my father's small pistol. This gun is totally different. It has a box magazine that holds 20 rounds and can be semi or full auto at the flick of a switch.
I'm a student in San Diego, and my friend, Tanny Joe, told me about shooting machine guns in the desert and how much fun it was. So I just didn't want to pass up the opportunity. I'm sure, I said to my friends, when's the last time you went shooting machine guns? They thought I was crazy, but I want you to know that it was great. Thanks for watching. I'm shooting the world famous Uzi submachine gun. I really don't know anything about guns, but when the producer said I was going to be shooting the Uzi, I immediately recognized it as the gun the presidential secret service men carry under their coats. It's small and concealable and can deliver plenty of 9mm rounds in a hurry. Uzi is 17 inches long with the stock folded and 25 inches long with it extended. It was designed and first manufactured in Israel in 1947. After its considerable success in the Eight Day War, the gun became accepted worldwide as a reliable combat weapon. The Uzi is a bit heavy at 7.5 pounds, but that gives it some heft and something to hang on to. This gun was also fitted with the DTA mill brake. You can see it on the end of the muzzle. The barrel has to be threaded, but it's worth the extra control and accuracy. student in San Diego majoring in business administration. I also do some modeling and television work. When my agent called me about this job, I thought he was joking, but I went over to Lenny McGill's office and saw some of the other tapes he produced and knew right then that I wanted to have a machine gun in my hands. I'm glad it was the Uzi. It was smaller than some of the other guns and a lot more fun. Look for me in the sequel of this tape. I'll be there looking for you. I'm originally from Seattle, Washington, but it always seems to be raining. So when the opportunity came up, I left for Southern California. I'm shooting the Thompson submachine gun, or Tommy gun made famous by gangsters carrying violin cases in the 1920s and later in World War II and Vietnam as a reliable close range combat weapon. This is the Thompson 1928 model, designed in 1922. It operates with a 50 round drum, while the M1A1 uses the standard magazine only. It fires the 45 caliber round at a rather slow rate of 450 rounds per minute. The Navy model has the characteristic front hand grip, which makes it easy to hold and control. 
The 50 round drum is a lot of fun because you can just shoot and just keep on shooting. as a salesperson at a retail clothing store. When I told the boss I wanted a day off to shoot machine guns, he almost flipped right there. Luckily, he likes guns, so he let me go, just so I'd be able to tell him about it. Plus, I think he wants to see this date. This has been a blast. See you later. My name is Lisa, and this is the H&K G3. The G3 fires a 7.62 NATO round at 550 rounds per minute. This gun really packs a punch. Wow! I'm told this gun is made by Heckler & Koch of Germany. It is based on the Spanish Setme rifle, which was made following World War II by former German designers. These Germans escaped after the fall of the Third Reich. This design has really been around. inches long and weighing almost 10 pounds, this could get to be a real pain carrying around all day on duty. But many countries around the world have chosen this machine gun as their standard rifle for their military guys. Although this is really setting me back in my tracks, it is fun to shoot. Imagine how tough this would be without the DTA mill brake that the producers installed just for me.
This is sure different than my full-time job as a chauffeur for a limo company, although I'm used to being around guns through the bodyguards of some of my clients. They will really be jealous when I tell them what I got to shoot. Hey, thanks for watching. And the next time you see a big, long, black limo coming down the road, check it out. It just might be me behind the wheel. Check it out. Now this is a blast. My name is Anne and I am a full-time actress and model. You may recognize me from a television show or commercials. This is a job where I didn't have to act. I'm actually enjoying it as much or more than it looks like on the screen. Firing that machine gun in that semi-auto mode doesn't even compare to when you hold that trigger back and let it rock and roll. The M16 that I am shooting started out as a semi-automatic AR-15, but was legally converted and registered as a fully automatic machine gun. It is now the same as a military M16 right down to the 800 rounds per minute. This gun should look very familiar to all you guys that served in our great country in the armed services. In case you guys were wondering where you may have seen me before, one of the roles that I have played is that of a professional wrestler on a national syndicated wrestling program. Even though we are acting, it is a physical workout and you must know what you are doing in the ring to avoid being hurt or seriously hurting your opponent. Wrestling is almost as much fun as firing this machine gun. I hope that I get the chance to do this again. Bye bye. My name is Dottie, and this is the Israeli Uzi, one of the most popular machine guns in the world, not only because it's carried by the President's Secret Service men, but also because it has a great record of service in many actual combat situations.
fires a 9mm round at a rate of 550 rounds per minute. Millions of these weapons have been sold throughout the world in both the semi and full auto versions. The Uzi is 24 inches in length and has a folding metal stock. However, I prefer to shoot it from the hip. As you can see, I took to shooting this gun like an eagle takes to flying. <laughs> it really has a nice feel to it. The seven and a half pounds of this gun are balanced over the hand grip, which makes it easy to handle and fun to blast. I live in San Diego, California, and have been modeling for the past seven years. You may have seen me in one of the major men's magazines, although I didn't quite have as much on. Some of my friends couldn't believe that I was actually going to shoot a machine gun, but I wasn't going to miss an opportunity like this. The producers told me they're thinking about doing a sequel to this tape. If so, I hope they use me again. Look for me. You won't miss me if you see me.